Hi, welcome back for our next lesson from Benchmark 1. Today's topic is going to be on muscles. And there are a lot of different things to know about muscles from the microscopic level all the way up to the body level. And we are not going to learn every single type of muscle. Um, but you will learn some of the major muscle groups by doing some of the online activities for muscle labeling. So our main goal is to be able to list and describe the three types of muscle tissues found in the body. So let's begin with a look at the microscopic level of muscle. And the types of muscle include basically two types, the kind that you can control and the kind that you can't. So we don't have any control over involuntary muscle. These are muscles that contract automatically without us having to think about it. And these include muscles for breathing and our heart beating. And then we have voluntary muscles that requires us to control when it's going to contract. All right, so there are three types of muscle tissue that we're gonna look at under the microscope. There is cardiac, which is a very specific type of muscle tissue only found in the heart. There is smooth muscle, which is found in most organs. And you might be thinking, why do our organs have muscles? Your entire digestive tract is lined with smooth muscle. And this smooth muscle contracts involuntarily, which means you don't have to think about it. And it contracts to continue moving food throughout your entire digestive system, which is pretty cool. And then the muscles that we control are considered skeletal muscles. And these are muscles that are attached to the bones. So this is a, a little side-by-side -side view of what these different types of muscle tissues look like at the cellular level. And this is a sketch and this is a microscope diagram. So skeletal muscle is often bundled in um, bands or strands that are bundled together and larger. And under the microscope, it kind of has like this striped look. And these dark areas that you see are actually um, nucleus or nuclei. And muscles are known for having lots and lots of nuclei because they're um, working together to contract. And if you ever get a chance to take a physiology class when you're in high school or college, it is so interesting to look at all the chemical reactions that are required for a muscle to contract. And it's the um, it's just like a really cool process or a domino effect of, of different muscles working with other muscles. So smooth muscle does not look at all like skeletal muscle. It has kind of a wavy blob-like appearance and they are kind of laying flat on one another. In cardiac muscle, it sort of resembles the skeletal muscle, only there's these different interconnections um, between the different muscle fibers to help the muscles contract. All right, so here's a summary. Skeletal muscle, lots of nucleus, our nuclei, it's voluntary, they're stripes, and it's not branched. Cardiac muscle, we do not have to think about our heart beating, thank goodness. Still some stripes, uh, usually just one nucleus per per band, and it is branched, so they're connected in a way. Smooth muscles, involuntary, there usually aren't any stripes. Um, one nucleus per cell, and it tends to have this tapered look on the ends. So let's play a little game called guess the muscle tissue under the microscope. Here's a picture of one of the three muscle types. If you want, you can pause the video, think about it, take a look, and we'll reveal the answer. Ready? Here we go. This is smooth muscle, one nucleus per cell, and it's not striped. All right, ready to try again? All right, take a look. Look at some of the characteristics. Are you ready to guess the muscle? It's cardiac. So we see the striations, so the stripes, one nucleus per bundle. And if you look really carefully, there are a few branches that you can see connecting the bundles. All right, process of elimination, right? You should know what this one is. Take a look. And you should be able to guess no problem. Ready? It is skeletal. Definitely striations, lots of dark nuclei, and you can see the bundles. So today's activity, 
um, is actually labeling major muscles of the human body. Now, I don't have a diagram of muscles in this slideshow, and I'm going to ask that you go online and Google some different uh, labeling diagrams. Now, you have to be careful because some muscle diagrams can be really, really complex. So let's take a look at what's out there for us in our ACHO activity. If you go into your project briefcase, you'll see that there is an option B for muscle labeling. And here's what we've got. I have a labeling worksheet that you can do online. And this is just a matching activity. Oops, I'm going to have to change that link. Good thing I'm trying it out now, huh? Okay, so it should look like this. Here's a muscle labeling activity. So you're going to have a word bank. You're going to have to match the major muscle groups to the body. So one, two, three, and four come from this word bank. The letters A through G come from this word bank. So you can um, type that in. The best thing to do is to find a good muscle labeling um, picture on the web. Now, what else we've got in here? is a printable worksheet. So let's see if I did this link correct. Yes. Okay, this is just going to be the same. You can print this off at home. I had a couple different activities that were um, slightly different. And then, just like the skeleton activity, I found something very similar with some of the major muscle groups. This might be a little bit more complicated than what we need. Um, but the trapezius, you'd go, okay, where is the trapezius? Well, um, I know it's the triangle back muscle, so, oh, I got that one wrong. Latissimus dorsi, triceps, no, 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 no. How about down here? No. Okay, clearly Mrs. Sprague needs help with her muscle groups. So anyways, this one goes through the muscles that are, um, pretty much the main muscle groups that we we would need to know for for a junior high class. So I'm going to go ahead and change this link. You can submit online. Um, if you decide to do a printed worksheet, you want to label things, you can upload a picture. Um, you can do the online activity and screenshot. Like I said, when you get all the dots correct, you can screenshot it and then you can send you can send it. Ooh, rectus abdominis. Let me see if I know this. This is right in the middle. Yes, this one's turns green when you get it right. All right, so make sure that you um, turn in your muscle labeling activity here if you choose to do that. I'm going to remind you, you only have to do and submit one labeling activity this week. So maybe you already did the skeleton and you just want to play the muscle labeling game. Or maybe you want to do another one. That's totally fine. So tomorrow we'll have our last video lesson and last labeling activity on the skin. So I will see you then.